Hey everybody, this is Leading Man again, and welcome to my latest Let's Play. Brought to you from the era of PlayStation 1. Today we're going to start taking a look at the Legacy of Kane series, beginning with the original game Blood Omen on the PlayStation 1. Brought to you by the fine folks at Activision. And their many waters. Crystal Dynamics. Guys who now make Tomb Raider. And of course, Silicon Knights, who now make terrible games. And spectacles of themselves on the internet. This title card has always seemed a little bit silly to me, but you know, just in case you thought Crystal Dynamics had anything to do other than publishing, well, you're wrong. It says so, right at the beginning. There is a magical operation of maximum importance. The initiation of a new Aeon. When it becomes necessary to utter a word, the whole planet must be bathed in blood. The tavern's closing. Best be on your way, stranger. What? No mug of ale for a weary traveler from distant Corhagen? I can reward you well, for I am of noble blood. I stay open for no man in these dark times. Things come with the night that no sane man would welcome. And so I left. Cold of heart and soul. Forced to the road and the long, bitter night. And so begins our adventure. As you can see, there's nothing really we can do here. It's just a single room. So we'll head outside and see what awaits us. That's him! Well, crap. <laughs> hey, Victor! <laughs> so there's actually not much point to this. Uh, you have no real health bar. And you can't actually win. Hey, Look how many dudes there are out there. You're done for. End it! Now! Oh, plot related death.
ironic that now I was the one suffering. Not anything as pedestrian as physical pain, rather the cruel jab of impotent anger. The hunger for revenge. I didn't care if I was in heaven or hell. All I wanted was to kill my assassins. Sometimes you get what you wish for. The necromancer Mortanius offered me a chance for vengeance, and like a fool, I jumped at his offer without considering the cost. Nothing is free, not even revenge. <laughs> you will have the blood you hunger for. I awoke to the pain of a new existence, in a dank womb of darkness and decay. And he's not kidding about that darkness either. If you look, you can see that this game is incredibly dark. I've had to bump a lot of the values just so you could see it. The sanctuary spell enables me to travel to my crypt where the soil of my grave provides me respite. I often resort to this when I am weak and need nourishment. Probably won't see too much use of the Sanctuary spell, to be honest. But we'll equip it real quick, just to show you what that's like. As you can see, you can only have one spell active at a time, and that gets a little... well, a little annoying later. <laughs> also, expect to hear a lot of him screaming Vey Victus. It's something you just eventually get used to. Reputed to have been ripped from the chest of the greatest vampire to have ever existed, Janos Audron, the heart of darkness restores vampiric unlife. Life is precious, Janos discovered, as it was torn, throbbing and bleeding from his own body. One other feature you can see here is that you can move the camera in and out. I prefer keeping it in the out form, just because you can see what's going on. <laughs> This ancient vial bears with it a dark gift indeed, for with it, my life force is increased. Well, no need for you. These ancient symbols of power contain raw magical energy that increases my own capacity to summon energy for the spawning of spells. So as you can see, a lot of the gameplay requires you to press certain switches to advance. There's, this right here is actually a save point. We're not going to be using it because there's really no need for this video. By the way, it does eventually get brighter. I do promise you that. The world had changed to my eyes. I had not expected such cruelty from the light. For in the embrace of the sun I could find no comfort, only malice. This would change in time for the worse. <laughs> along with other things. When rainfall comes, vampires are wise to find shelter from its acidic touch. So blood acts like your life force. When you get hit, the blood container goes down and you can recharge it by attacking an enemy, getting into that sort of wiggly wobbly state, and then you use the drain blood button, which in this case is a circle. Doing so will then allow you to replenish your health bar, and it can actually be done from quite a distance, as you've seen a few times. This is actually a unique feature to the game games, and it uh, gives it a little bit of a unique aesthetic as well. Alright, another dark dungeon to go through. We can zoom in for a sweet looking kill here. Oh yeah, take that skeleton. One for you two. So most of the game, yeah, Vey Victus. Most of the game, I'm actually going to be playing out in this zoomed out mode because it's way too hard to play when that thing is actually zoomed in all the way like that. Especially considering when it's zoomed in, you. The camera just goes crazy, and it's really hard to actually see what's going on. I really probably would have done better to just allow this to be the default camera. 
By the way, another neat feature, as you can see, is that even though you can't really see anything, anything that's important will actually glow, like this ball here. Once it's taken, it goes away. Thank you much, lady.